Okay. So we are doing our live webinar on how we use Slack here at HuddleCam HD. So really excited about that. We've got a brand new virtual set that we're going to be presenting from, and it's just me today. So here I am. This is actually a little preview for everyone of our HuddleCam HD booth, which I thought would be a fun virtual set. Uh, kind of shows what you can do um, with virtual sets. As you can see, this is our Infocom virtual set. We're actually bringing this to NAB as well in April uh, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So I wanted to do a little presentation with our brand new, uh, we're really proud of this, this, this booth here, so I did do a little presentation with, um, with this booth. So today we're talking about Slack. So this is our webinar, how we use Slack. Um, it's, being, um, it's March 11th today, so we're live on YouTube, we're live on Zoom, and we're live on Blab. So what is Slack? Well, Slack is actually the fastest growing business software in history. And it's a collaboration software that allows teams to work together in various channels. Uh, today we're going to go over how you can use Slack to launch uh, Google Hangouts, Skype calls, um, audio only calls, and Zoom video conferencing calls. So in a unified communications uh, look at how to use Slack, which really is a unified communications platform built just for collaboration, although it does look like they are building in audio conferencing, which we'll look at, and potentially maybe even more in the future. So in this video series, we're going to look at uh, all of those that we mentioned, and uh, we're going to talk about how to use a Slack command. So uh, that is new for a lot of people. What is a Slack command? Well, right below here you can see an example of what a Slack command is. So there's various ways to use Slack commands. Uh, Slack has a bunch built right in, and a couple basic ones that everyone should know about is slash who. So when you hit the slash button, the forward slash, that tells, um, that tells Slack that you're not going to be typing in a message, you are going to be typing in a command. Uh, there's various different commands, and one that I always use a lot is the slash who. So if invite everyone in that channel. Uh, if you type slash who, it will tell you all of the people inside that channel. Another great one is once you've done that and you've said, okay, now I know that there's five people in this channel, um, you can now do slash invite and you can invite um, various users who you want to be involved in this channel. Um, so those are two just really basic ones. You can see we're using a few of them uh, right below. That's the Slack command that you're taking a look at. Um, we'll keep that on loop. We'll show it one more time. Um, it's just very easy. You can collapse, you can mute a thread. So if, if you're not interested anymore in a channel, but you need to kind of have it in case uh, collaboration between teams, more powerful and easy. And now this is just creating shortcuts for us to uh, streamline our workflow. So we'll talk about Slack commands. We're going to look at Slack audio only calls. Now these are currently in beta, but basically what it allows you to do is if you're collaborating with a group of let's say six to eight people in a channel and you want to escalate to an audio call. You don't need to do a video call. We talked about, we are going to show exactly how to do Skype, Hangouts, and Zoom. But uh, let's say you just want to just want to have an audio call with everyone on your team, and everyone has a microphone and a speakerphone to do so. Um, you can just do a Slack only audio call. So while we're on the topic, I'm going to show exactly what that looks like. So uh, in the video here, you can see that um, we are actually in a channel, and I'm going to start this from the very beginning to make this easy. There and Slack will prompt you to name that phone conversation before everyone's notified. So that's a nice way to say, hey, I have a conversation that I need to have with my team about this specific topic and you can start that call. As soon as you do so, it says here we've notified everyone about this specific call and we're waiting for people to join your call. Then you can go ahead and invite different people who might not be in that channel. So everyone who is in the channel has been notified and they can would get an in invitation assuming that they're not muting this channel. And uh, you can see here that Levi Davis has joined our audio call. So there's, it's very, very simplistic. It's a kind of looks like a WebRTC. It's a small little window that pops up, allows you to manage your microphone and speakerphone, and also allows you to ad hoc, add additional people to the audio conference call. So it's audio only. There's no video uh, component to this at this point. The, the selections there, and then you can leave the call 
simply by hitting the end button there. And then you're just back in Slack. So the idea is that you don't have to leave Slack to make a phone call with your, uh, with your employees. And it's great for, um, for notifying everyone within Slack that needs to be notified. It just makes your life simpler. You know, imagine if you had to, um, you know, go out and do the whole invitation thing through another application. It would take you minutes. And, you know, when Slack integrates all these things together, they can save you hours in a full day with all the different variations of, of their uh, innovations and in, in streamlining the, of the workflows. So we showed the Slack audio calls, which is really one of the, the coolest uh, new features they have. Now, there is no recording at this point. I assume that they are going to include that so you can, you can record your audio calls. This is still in beta. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our next example. Let's take a look at um, Slack in Skype. So one of the nice things about Slack is that they have a team directory. And in that team directory, as you can see here, we have the ability to input our, let me pause it there. Um, you have the input, the ability to input your Skype handle. Once your Skype handle has been input into your profile, everyone on your team will have the ability to launch a Skype call just by pulling up your um, name. So you, and you can um, just launch a Skype call right from there, assuming that they have their handle in there. So if your team uses Skype, I would encourage you to tell your team about this feature and have them put their Skype handle in there. That way you can just launch video and audio calls directly through Skype or directly through Slack into Skype. So that's a really good one. The next one we're going to show you guys is Zoom video conferencing. So um, here we are here and the Zoom video conferencing integration, uh, it does require a couple things we're going to look at. So to launch a Zoom call once it's integrated, you just hit slash Zoom. It could not be easier. As soon as you hit slash Zoom, um, let's pull this up. As soon as you hit slash Zoom, it starts a meeting. So it's really that easy number. It's just a, a random number that comes up. And uh, you, everyone will be able to click to join right there. You can also join a scheduled, uh, a scheduled meeting. So there is no scheduling through Slack per se, but you can take a scheduled meeting number, type it in, and join directly through, through Slack. So that might sound complicated, but a lot of people today are using personal meeting numbers. So you could just say, hey guys, we have a Slack meeting, here's the number, everyone join that. And instead of just creating a random number, which you know everyone would need um, immediately, you could have uh, a scheduled Zoom room. A lot of people have like personal meeting room IDs that's available in the professional and the enterprise editions and the business editions of Zoom. Then you can just have that number ready. You hit slash Zoom, join, and the meeting ID. So that is how that works. Um, just really quickly, uh, the Zoom integration with Slack is extremely easy, but you need to go into the Zoom dashboard, you tell them the Slack. That just authenticates between Slack and Zoom. Then on the other side, you have to go to your Slack integrations and you need to add Zoom to the Slack integrations and tell Slack your Zoom um, you know, uh, team name as well. So once all that's done, it will just appear right in every Slack channel, as opposed to it being a bot, which we were going to take a look at next. Um, and if it's a bot, you need to actually invite it to each channel, uh, whereas with this integration and with the Hangouts integration, um, they are available throughout all of your channels without having to use some type of uh, bot. Which bots are really cool. We're going to look at one next. Uh, we're going to skip the Google Hangouts because we are running out of time here. Uh, we keep these webinars really short. The Google Hangouts one is exactly like Zoom. You just integrate it with your Google Hangouts um, system. You do need to have a Google for Business account that supports Hangouts. And uh, you can integrate that directly with Slack. Same thing. You just hit slash Hangouts and it would start an ad hoc Google Hangout meeting, everyone in your Slack channel will be notified, and you can all start a Google Hangout. So the next thing we want to talk about in our how we use Slack webinar is we do a lot of integration with Google Analytics so that we can track both our Google Analytics website um, uh, statistics, our YouTube statistics, and pretty much anything that Google can track, you can pull directly into Slack, and you can schedule that. 
So you can schedule those, um, those integrations to come on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. And we've got a, um, a little video here where we're going to show off how that works. So in this video, we actually are using a bot. So um, the way that bots work is you can go to uh, the Slack bots channel and take a look at some of the different bots that are available to automate various tasks. The stats bot, which is S-T-A-T-S bot, that bot integrates with Google Analytics. So basically once you have um, installed that bot into your integration with Slack, you would use your um, information from Google Analytics and schedule reports to be pulled directly into your Slack channel. So I know that's a lot there. Let's kind of break this down. So the way that we use this is that we have at least one channel for a single website. So let's say our HuddleCam HD website, we've got a channel for that. So the bot can, can actually, you, can, you may have multiple properties in your Google Analytics um, your Google Analytics account. So you might have a, you, three YouTube channels and three websites. Well, the bot can only handle one property per channel. So if you have a channel for your, your, for your website A, you would uh, tell the stats bot that you need it to um, pull information from website A into channel A. So for example here, we've told the stats bot that we want it to pull in information from our website. So to, first of all, you do need when you're using a bot, one of, the, one of the things that I didn't realize in the very beginning is you need to invite the bot to the channel. By default, bots are not just in, in given channels. They have their own channel um, that you can interact with them on, and you can invite them to various channels so that you can kind of configure them per channel because they most of the time bots are multi-purpose so by putting it in a single channel and then defining which analytics account uh, property in your analytics account that you want it to listen to you've now configured that bot for that channel so once that's done and I know that's a lot there you can now pull charts so we've just pulled a basically Basically, the way the stats bot works is you can do metrics. So you can pull a metric by a dimension. So metric A might be users and dimension actually on your website by monthly. So you can use those two. You know, you might want to get familiar with um, those dimensions and those metrics. But um, this is this is how it works here. We just pulled a uh, user by monthly. So that gives us a monthly report based on, uh, you know, or actually that was a week. That was February 23rd to February 29th. And now I've scheduled that, and it allows you to also break down that by variable to. This is probably one of the most powerful Slack integrations that teams almost everywhere can use and take advantage of right away. So that's pretty much everything we have prepared. We've shown... Um, We've shown Skype, we've shown uh, Zoom, we've shown um, the audio calling within Slack, we've shown pulling charts and doing Google Analytics. So that's actually everything we have. Thank you for everyone that has joined via, um, via our Zoom call. Thank you for your chats. Um, we have a little bit of time to answer questions. So let's go ahead and answer any questions that people might have. Um, looks like we have a question here regarding um, integration of the actual bots. So there is a, um, an area in Slack where you can go. Um, I, could, I could do a screen share, but I'm, I've got so much going on here, I'm not going to do that. Basically, there is an area at the, at the footer of Slack that gives you all the apps, what they call you know, Slack bot apps. And you can install directly through there, and then there's usually a small integration process for example, with the stats bot where you need to authenticate analytics, can we track multiple uh, Google Analytics properties? Yes, so the way that works, and I think we did talk about this a little bit, um, you can calculate, you can pull multiple um, Google Analytics properties into analytics. You need to have multiple channels in order to, to pull in those. You basically configure the bot per channel. Um, how does the Google Hangouts um, integration work? So um, that is an, there's an integration section of Slack, and you can go into that um, integration section and select the Google Hangouts um, integration. It's really plug and play. It's very, very easy. And then once you have it integrated, 
Um, you know, you authenticate in your Google account through Slack. That's a one-time th thing. And then once it's completely integrated, you can um, anywhere in Slack, which is great. So again, this is our uh, our new our new booth. We're really excited about uh, showing off. So take a look at that. Um, it's going to be really cool. We're going to be at Las Vegas in the Las Vegas Convention Center at I, um, in 20 minutes. So so it's just been just about that. So I have to wrap this one up. Thank you everybody for being part of this webinar. We appreciate it and enjoy your day.